get Nimesh who will give us a better sense about flows in uh, the markets. Uh, hi Nimesh, good afternoon, tell us more. Hi Nigel, you know, today uh, the flows will not be that important largely because there is the expiry which is going to play out and also there is the MSA rebalancing. And just to add to your point on Macrotech, Macrotech also is one stock which gets impacted because of the uh, MSCI flows and also there is a strong buzz that maybe in Macrotech uh, you will hear a QIP very soon so that probably explains uh, a bit of consolidation and a move as well in Macrotech off late. But largely, you know, uh, uh, as I said, you know, flows will not be too important in today's market because of the expiry in the MSCI. But I, I guess some signs of, you know, buying seems to be clearly back in the financial name. So, uh, as, uh, intraday we saw a bit, almost 1% up move in the Nifty Bank uh, and, and that's where some, some sort of buying seems to be emerging in the private bank stocks. That's overall from a flow perspective. Technically, I'm told uh, 21,850 uh, is the first level to watch on the downside in terms of a, a crucial support. If that gets taken out, then the level to watch would be 21,450, 21,400 levels on the Nifty. So that's something to watch on in the March series. But, you know, just a word of caution on the broader markets. The flows have turned negative in the broader markets of late. But, uh, you know, historically, there, there is a bit of uh, pressure in the broader markets in the, in the March series. So that is a, that's where some bit of caution seems to be. So uh, the overall feedback is maybe the March series will be the series for the, for the large cap name. So that's something to track going forward. But I guess uh, today the flow, as I said, you know, would not be much important because of the expiry as well as the MSA rebalancing. What about individual stocks, Nimesh? What are you looking at? So in terms of individual names, the first name is uh, Lumax Auto. That stock is buzzing after a very large block, nearly 4% equity got changed in hand. So uh, looks to me, uh, it's not a clean out trade from the seller, but from a buyer point of view, a single mutual, a domestic mutual fund was a buyer in today's block. So disclosures there would be quite interesting as to who's bought in Lumax Auto today. The second name is Nestle. Uh, that's been buzzing in trade today and, and uh, I guess that, that will react uh, only because of the MSCI flows as well as there is an MOC buying as well in the last 30 minutes. So maybe you'll see a bit of uh, uptake reaction in, in Nestle. So expect higher delivery volumes in, in that stock today. The third name is JSPL. Within the metal names, this is one stock which is well bid by larger distribution. So again, uh, JSPL is buzzing on, on strong buy flows. So expect even their uh, good, good, good delivery, uh, delivery based volumes. And the last one is uh, Utkar Small Finance Bank. Been consolidating in a very narrow range. Often it's some HNIs have bought as well. But now I understand there's going to be a very large block deal in Utkar, Utkar Small Finance very soon. So that's something to track going forward in Utkar. All right. Thanks a lot for that. Well, Mitesh Thakkar is joining in now to tell you what to buy.